Hello and welcome again to Vitality Moments. I can see some of you are really enjoying this Vitality Moments and, and it's beautiful to see how we can expand together that whole idea of vitality. And of course, when we talk about vitality now, we know it's much more than being alive in a physical sense. It's really that energy that we are experiencing when we are connecting. So in the last ones, I talk about the air and I talk about the water. And today it's actually time for the earth, the vitality of the earth. So we know a lot of our food comes from the earth. Whether you eat only vegetables and fruits and nuts or whether you eat animals, there's still a big component that comes from the earth. So I'm talking about the element of earth. That beautiful earth that you can see here outside. And I know there's a lot of sadness when we talk about the vitality of earth because the earth has lost a lot of minerals and a lot of nutrition that we used to get that we don't get anymore as we have depleted it as we have put chemicals on it and fertilized it, but actually taking away its goodness. So at this time, we are really called to bring back the vitality of Earth. So if we are thinking about it, we need food. And food brings us vitality. And how often do we forget that it comes from the earth? Over the last couple of weeks, for the first time in my life, seriously, I started to dig. Now, this earth here is really tough. It's hard. So it was a lot of physical work in the beginning, and I started slowly making sure I don't get too many blisters. And I have two lovely little fields right now. And it's very beautiful to feel that vitality in the earth, to water the earth, to speak to it, to sing to it, to help it to be the best it can be, and also to put those seeds inside and watch how they grow. It actually takes a long time from a seed to a eatable plant. I haven't seen anything yet, apart from the green leaves that are coming up. But it is something really, really fascinating to be connected to the actual earth and to recognize how much life is in earth. The energy, the sound. One of my friends, Gary Cook in uh, New Zealand, he has these beautiful devices that he puts on plants and then the sound comes. And even earth has a sound. There are recordings of the earth even within. But I'm talking today more about the earth as in where we plant. So what is our ability to bring more vitality back into the earth? Maybe you are not a farmer. Maybe you don't plant your own food. But maybe you could plant a little bit. Some herbs, something easy. And you could find this connection to the earth. And don't kill it with fertilizers and chemicals. But try to find some natural ways. How beautiful to bring back the vitality to the earth as it is sharing her love with us. So vitality today is about the earth. What is your experience with the earth? How do you share vitality with the earth? Of course, as we're going deeper now, you are eating the produce of the earth. All of us do. How do you take it? Are you conscious? Are you grateful? Do you remember where it comes from? Or is it just from your local supermarket? your local farmer, or from the bio shop, the organic shop down the road. 
Where does it come from? Do you really share this vitality with the earth that has brought these seeds into beautiful fruits and vegetables? Maybe it's a good time for all of us to connect to the earth. Maybe we are not all organic planters. Maybe we cannot all bring more nutrition, more minerals into the earth. But all these beautiful organic ways, microorganisms and whatever, that maybe we can connect and maybe we can fill our hearts with gratitude for what the earth brings to us. And maybe this is also a way to feel that vitality. And of course, be more conscious to the food that you're taking in. So let us connect and be grateful to Earth for helping to improve her vitality, maybe today only through our gratitude and us remembering how much we are connected to Earth. As you come into this sacred relationship with the earth and that vitality, what does it bring to your food? What is it really that you want to choose? Yes, it's only you, but it's also all, all of us. How do you eat? What do you eat? Are you listening to your body? What does it want? How does it digest? How does it absorb the beautiful product of the earth that is coming to you? Are you listening? For some of us, we have to listen. Because if we eat something that this body doesn't like anymore, this is not allergies and sensitivities, this is simply a body that wants to be more pure and more vital? Or are you popping a pill? This is also vitality to listen to this physical that is also an earth element. Not all of it, but part of it. Are you listening? How does it work what you're eating? Is it really vital to you? Or does it make you tired and sick? So, how does it work in your world? Share it with me. And sometimes, maybe take a break from eating and just allowing the body 
to rest and restore, to reset. Also this is vitality. Also this is these moments when we truly feel vital. So I'm inviting you to enjoy this vital moment, moments with all that is earth, from that gratitude to the earth that is producing to us, to listening to the earth element in our body and how it serves us or not. Keen to hear, as always, how you feel, how it resonates with you. Namaste and see you soon.